Hello, everyone. I'm Jeff Lochner, president of Media Post, and I'd like to welcome you and thank you for being here for this latest installment of the Media Post webinar series, today sponsored by Veritone. This webinar series really seeks to bring the best and brightest members of the marketing and advertising community, you, together for presentations by some of the top solution providers in our business. Today's presentation by Veritone, entitled Grow Revenue and Enhance Transparency with TV Attribution, will be a conversation with moderator Daniel Wong and Veritone's Sales Director for Media and Entertainment, Jeanette Cato. Just to let you know, after the presentation, we will have time for a Q&A session. Um, all you really need to do anytime during the webinar is type in your questions, kind of down in the lower right-hand corner of the uh, panel at GoToWebinar here, and then they'll be answered by Jeanette and Daniel. Also, a copy of today's deck and the recording of the webinar will be sent to everyone for review. Thanks to all for joining us today, and please welcome Daniel and Jeanette. Over to you guys. Thank you, Jeff. Thanks for having us, and welcome, Jeanette. Hey, thanks. You know, let's uh, let's get to the heart of the matter of this topic today that we're going to be talking about is uh, TV attribution. We know that um, you know attribution today has played a very big part in in trying to prove uh, rev, you know, ROI and revenue and so forth. And so, um, you know data is a big thing and so i'm just you know curious on you know what you're seeing now with tv attribution absolutely so clearly attribution is the hot topic you know i talked to a lot of tv customers both broadcasters and also their advertising clients and uh certainly um they are looking for data um you know advertising decisions are being made uh, and driven by this empirical data, data is gold, we hear that constantly. And so making sense of that data via attribution allows advertisers to make meaningful improvements um, for their business. And so more than ever, you know, our TV advertisers are more equipped to make better, more strategic decisions in their media buying because of this type of data. And we absolutely have to compete in that space and we need to be in front of it. Nice. So, you know, it's interesting. Do you think you think uh, this is kind of the new currency for uh, for this market now? Absolutely. You know, when you're making an, an investment, you want to know that that investment is working for you. Long, you know, long ago are the days where uh, we as TV sellers would have to wait to the end of the campaign to understand if a if an on air broadcast campaign was working, or we you know we would have to rely on advertisers to basically tell us did you know that it worked or that it didn't work and so now with this type of data and these insights we can see in real time uh what's performing best in terms of our advertising what ad units are performing best what what you know placements in terms of day parting and the things like that are driving the most consumer engagement so that we can maximize that investment maximize the client's roi increase their buying confidence as they go um, get the renewal get it added upsell create upsell opportunities along the way and, and truly begin to be a marketing partner and a marketing consultant versus just uh, a TV seller for some of these partners. Great. You know, let's talk about, you know, digital, the digital world, because obviously that's taken a lot of business from a lot of TV folks because, you know, digital has the analytics and and the metrics and, and the wherewithal. You know, we can see the click throughs, we can see the open rates and so forth. T talk to me a little bit about that, what you're seeing with TV attribution and what's happening there too. Well, we certainly know that dollars are flowing to digital because of this type of data. It's a measurable medium and many advertisers are attracted to digital because of its ability to show, you know, this real time analytics. And so, you know, TV and both radio have to compete for the, this media spend against a very measurable medium. And we know that TV broadcasting is effective. We just haven't really been able to measure it until uh, very recently. And so, um, and in many, in many more cases, it's actually more effective. Um, and so I think that we, you know, we need to be able to show these near real-time analytics via attribution um, so that not only can we compete for those dollars, but we can win more of that business um, and even attract, you know, digital advertisers to television uh, because, you know, we can measure those results for, for those types of customers. And so, you know, without the data and analytics, <clears throat> are, you know, what kind of guessing game are we playing, you know? Bottom line, uh, data and analytics allow you to improve efficiency and efficacy of an advertiser's media spend. So, you know, if we knew right away what was working best 
and we had the ability to optimize that for advertising clients, uh, you're going to deliver that ROI for your clients every time. Um, you're going to build confidence in their investments, which is obviously going to lead to more investment, uh, more investment with you, and the ability to track net new clients. And so at the end of the day, so how do we validate the advertising if it's not digital? Because that's kind of difficult nowadays, especially with TV. So this is where attribution comes in. And, you know, just to kind of to, to level set on what attribution is doing, um, you know, we are looking at a station's playout data and an understanding of when that, that advertising client is advertising on, you know, over the air. Uh, we're correlating that playout data to uh, activity on the client's website within a given period of time. And we call that the attribution window so that we can make connections between ad campaigns and the actions that the target audience has taken on the, their website. And we look at that over time. We look at that, um, you know, so that we can begin to make some correlations and directionality and, and show, you know, make some inferences about what's performing best, uh, what nuances of the campaign are performing best so that we can drill into that, optimize it, potentially create some upsell opportunity and, and truly maximize the ROI. Nice. So essentially, this is your product, Veritone Attribute, uh, this attribution tool? That's right. Uh, tell us a little bit more about it. It looks like you won product of the year uh, at NAB and, and so forth. So tell me a little bit about what... Uh, the, this attribution to yes yeah, super so super proud of um, our our NAB award this year for for 2019 product of the year um, Veritone attribute is you know a simple really easy to use interface uh, that essentially makes connections between ad campaigns over the air and then the actions that the target audience has taken on an advertiser's website within a given attribution window and so the whole point of this is to show the efficacy of the advertising campaign. And so if we can do that, and we can do that in real time, we're able to pull reports, we're able to create opportunities to sit with our clients and go over the, these metrics, show them the insights in near real time so that we can optimize their campaigns. Um, it's a super easy process, not only for the, our TV sellers to, to use, um, but it's also very simple for them to invite and onboard a new advertiser in a three-step process. You know, it's, it's simply inviting the advertiser to connect their Google Analytics give us read-only access um, so that we can so that their data populates and then we can start making those correlations. Um, and, and ultimately, it's going to you know improve collaboration with our advertisers. I mean, this really presents an opportunity for us, the seller, to be a marketing consultant for those advertisers and to leverage their campaign data in order to optimize the placement, the the creative, maybe the messaging, the call to action, the duration, the frequency, the day part and all of those nuances that really go into making a tremendous um, advertising campaign successful. That's cool, because now it sounds like this tool allows you now to compete with the digital guys. Absolutely. Was wondering if you can give us a little bit more detail on how this all works. Sure, so technically speaking, this is how we, how we correlate the data. So essentially, when we work with a broadcaster, we ingest their station playout logs, and we do this in near real time. And we also invite the advertiser to connect their Google Analytics, giving us read-only access. And then we marry the two so that we have that correlation. Um, and so that we can see you know, in real time when an ad aired, what was the website traffic within a given attribution window? And we'll get into that a little bit, but typically the attribution window in the space has been uh, eight minutes, and, and that's a good number. It's a tight enough window to allow us to, to make some, um, you know, to kind of show the, the tight directionality of, of when somebody saw something on our station and then took action, especially with TV being a, you know, a two-screen medium. And so um, we also have the ability to customize that attribution window, which we can get into later. But essentially, when we correlate this data, then we can drill down into some really interesting insights in, ter in terms of what types of ads are resonating best. You'll be able to see right on a dashboard that, um, you know, this ad versus that ad, or you know, whether it's by ad unit or placement of those units, you know, time of day, um, maybe which creative is working best. You, you've got the ability to now do some A-B testing. Um, certainly, you know, if something has a call to action and a direct response to a client's website, you'll be, see, be able to see, you know, what type of offer or, or how strong the call to action is, is truly working. Great. 
And and talk a little bit more. I know you mentioned some of the features and benefits already, but maybe talk to the slide a little bit and kind of give us some more insights on that. Yeah, so we'll, we'll definitely jump into a live demo so you can see how this data looks and how it works. But essentially, um, not only are we be able are not not only are we able to show attribution for uh, traditional spots, but we also have the capabilities to show attribution for really anything said on the air. Um, and, and that certainly could be uh, any live mention, any native mention, um, product placement, you know, really anything that lives outside of the logs. And we do that using our AI functionality and our, our capabilities there. But, um, you know, and, and I have many customers who, basically log everything. So everything is in the log. They don't need to necessarily run attribution for anything outside of the log. But then I have several customers who they tend to do a lot of promotion. They tend to do a lot of um, maybe community sponsors, event sponsorship, you know, a lot of kind of non-traditional revenue. Uh, and they want to be able to track that and then take credit for it and then show, you know, the the the, eff the efficacy of those types of integrations. And and for this for stations who haven't yet really gone down that path, you know, attribution provides some some quick efficient measures measurement of those types of ad units, maybe allowing you to open up more inventory for product placement um, where it makes sense, maybe around weather or traffic or sports, uh, and, and certainly, um, you know, create a new revenue stream there. Sweet. So, you know, just as far as, you know, these types of insights and what they're providing, it's it's all for the efficacy game. I and mean, we really want to be able to have an agile approach to advertising, understand what's working best. Certainly, if something is underperforming, we're going to know right away so that we could make some corrections and optimize really what is working uh uh, you know, best for the advertiser. But again, you know, being able to drill into all these different points of the advertising campaign so that we can make some tweaks, we can, you know, optimize this is, is certainly going to maximize the client's ROI. It's going to give us a tremendous, you know, valid business reason to sit down with our advertiser and go over this data with them on a weekly basis, certainly before the, you know, the campaign is up for renewal um, so that we can renew that in the process and build their, build, you know, the relationship, build their buying confidence, show them what's effective, um, so that we can take credit for it and then and get them to increase their spend. That's great. I think uh, I think we love to see the attribution demonstration. I think this is going to kind of maybe put some things in light and perspective for our audience. Sure. All right. So what we are looking at here is the attribute application, and uh, this, you know, we're we're a SaaS-based company. This is all web-based. So essentially, our customers, the broadcasters, um, simply log into Veritone.com. It lands them on this uh, attribution dashboard, and we'll go over, you know, kind of the lay of the land. Um, but I wanted to tell you how this is typically organized. Um, so essentially, you know, a, a TV seller could come in here. Uh, typically, we have it organized so that their their folder is here to the left, and then they've got their on-air advertising campaigns or clients uh, within their folder. And once their advertisers connect their Google Analytics um, via a three-step process here right from the platform, then all of this data populates. And so we'll, we'll go through the three-step process uh, a little bit toward the end here um, just because it's super simple. And I wanted to give you an overview of what type of data that we're able to see. So up here in the top, this is for a Chevrolet campaign, let's say ac across television. And we're looking at kind of a global metric uh, view of, of the, the client's on-air campaign plus their uh, web analytics and then the attribution that occurred within a given period of time. And so in this specific example, I'm looking at what was a client's you know, campaign on air in the last 30 days and what was their web traffic during the last 30 days and how is that data correlated? And you can certainly customize all of this data to view um, a specific date range. You can customize it uh, for the maybe the flight of the, of the campaign. Certainly you can look at it on a daily basis, et cetera, just to, to look for some highlights to sh then share with the client. So if we look through these metrics here, if I'm starting from the left and moving to the right, uh, here, you know, of the total traffic that came to their website in the last month, um, you know, six and a half percent of that traffic actually came from the ads. That's the traffic that came within that attribution window that we can confidently attribute back to the station's campaign. So, you know, in this particular demo example, this client ran 328 ads. Here was their total visits to their website uh, during the last 30 days here in green. And of those visits, how many visits came within that attribution window? So in this case, over 2,200, which resulted in 919 net new users to their website. 
So, you know, lots of highlights here. And as a seller, um, you know, I, I, I certainly would be familiar with this type of campaign and maybe what I want to share back with my client. But right off the bat, I think delivering almost a thousand new people to their website is pretty tremendous. Um, and especially if, you know, if this client has a, 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 a call to action that is driving people to the website for a specific offer or um, some unique information that's maybe available, you know, within a certain period of time, et cetera, um, you know, we can see in real time the delivery that we're uh, bringing to that client. Um, as far as this number here to the left, you know, how many of how many total visits actually can be attributed to the ads? The six and a half percent number, this is actually really high. Um, and I get asked this question all the time. Well, how do I know if that number is good? And my answer is, well, what you know, what does the client expect? Um, and and have you had a conversation with the client? You know, I, I certainly don't make guarantees in advertising, but I I definitely look at the 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 whole of the advertising campaign to um, to see you know, what's working best, maybe what we can improve and optimize so that this number is as high as possible. There's obviously a lot that goes into an advertising campaign that has to do with, um, you know, frequency and uh, offer and call to action and messaging and creative and all of that. So as, as long as we're firing on all cylinders for, for all of those variables, you know, that number tends to, to be pretty high. Um, and so if I, if I scroll down here a little bit, and uh, look at this um, date range here. This is a um, this is basically a visualization that shows me the total visits to the client's website by hour. And so, um, in the, here in the yellow, I'm um, sorry, the orange line, this will show me on a graph um, all of the visits that are coming to the that website by hour. And that's so, through Google Analytics, correct? This is Google Analytics. Tr tr yes, correct. And so, certainly at the 10 a.m. hour, um, you know, we're averaging you know three over. 3,200 visits. And what's really, really unique about this uh, data here is that it gives me the ability to compare a date range. And so if I select this on, it'll automatically default to show me um, the website traffic over the same uh, number of days, but from the prior period. So for instance, the narrative here could be, I want to look at the advertiser's website traffic when they were advertising with us in orange versus when they weren't advertising with us in blue. Or maybe blue is when they had less frequency or um, they were running maybe a, a different type of ad. Um, and so whatever the narrative is there, it allows you to basically look at a period over a period um, to then take that back to the advertiser. And in many, many cases, you know, we see this blue line uh, completely flat. Um, and, and again, this is like kind of dummy data for the demo. Sure. Uh, but in many cases, we see that this blue line is flat and we see a huge lift and spike in website traffic when they are currently advertising with the station. And so, so that highlight in and of itself is is reason enough to go back to the advertiser and share this um, and, and certainly win their business. Yeah, a great example, like you said, of, you know, giving – TV uh, credit when it's due against the digital competitors. Absolutely, which is great. Absolutely. And you and you said again, this is over an eight-minute window period. So once the once it airs, let's say at 8:30 p.m., for, so from 8:30 p.m. to 8:38 p.m., that's when we're that's getting when all we're the data. measuring the traffic. Yes, and and that's you know that's an actually a, a configurable setting within our platform. And this was um, this was actually a request that came directly from one of our customers, our broadcast customers, is they wanted the ability to configure that window for the right type of campaign and for the right client. It's certainly something that I, I would recommend, like sales leadership um, at the station controls. You know, we don't want to just let everybody inflate the numbers, but for the right campaign and for the right client, especially if a client you know is only advertising with you, uh, maybe when you're in a market where there's a long commute, something along those lines, and it's going to affect you know or interfere with that attribution window. We can make some um, kind of assumptions there and and customize that for the right campaign and the right customer. But but typically the standard has been um, eight minutes and and is still a good enough window. A tight enough window to show direction out, directionality and correlation uh, for the advertiser. Great. Love to see what else other features you have here. Sure. So if I scroll down a little bit here, um, this will allow me to see on a heat map all of the visits by the day of week that are occurring on the client's website. And, and clearly, uh, the deeper the shade of blue is the more penetration they have on their website. So I can clearly see here that, you know, in the 8 a.m. hour on Monday, Tuesday through 
uh, it looks like the 10:30 a.m. hour, you know, they're they're having a tremendous amount of traffic to their site. So me as the seller would say, okay, well, is that when they're running the majority of their spots, or is that when we tend to use an influencer in the morning uh, to maybe to voice those spots? Is that when we did some product placement or live interview with a with maybe a sponsor? Um, you know, what were we doing in that specific time period that that was you know could be responsible for that type of lift? So I'll just keep going through some of this data. Um, if I click on day part analytics, this will allow me to see the total ad visits by hour um, and also the new ad users by hour so that you can begin to understand maybe what day parts are performing best. Um, obviously this could be in line with their spot schedule, but it could also, you know, maybe they're running kind of spots throughout the day, um, evenly throughout the day, but you can clearly see here that in the mornings, and in middays, uh, that's when you know typically the most traffic is is being delivered. So again, you know what is the story behind that? Is it that because you're running a special offer? Is that because you're running more frequency? Um, and you can certainly make some inferences there and then share that back to the customer um, so that they can do more of that. Right. And also ad visits by day of the week, same thing. So I'll just continue to kind of click through here. Uh, placement analytics. This will allow me to see um, of the spots that I'm running how many visits per ad those spots are yielding. So in this case, we ran you know, 328 ads, delivered uh, over you know, 2,200 ad visits, so that each ad is generating almost seven visits you know, per ad. Uh, we do have the ability to show this for lives as well. So if you were running attribution for really anything outside of pre-recorded spots, whether they're live mentions, you know, product placement, et cetera, you would have here another bar chart that would basically show you um, your lives versus your pre-recorded. That's great. And you, you know, you mentioned uh, you can capture actually live spots. That's kind of very difficult with a lot of other platforms because, uh, and tell me how that's done. You mentioned AI earlier, so I'm just curious. Yep. So it actually requires AI and we are an AI company. Um, attribution and Veritone Attribute is just a, a piece of what we do uh, in terms of our uh, whole offering, but um, we're an AI company and what we do for TV and, and radio specifically is we can transcribe the entire broadcast in real time, making every spoken word completely indexed, searchable, and attributable. Amazing. So, I mean, I can now find when, you know, Ryan Seacrest, who's on Kelly and Live, you know, Kelly and Ryan Live, if he's, he mentioned Coca-Cola on air live, you're saying I can now find that. Not only can you find it, but you can actually tell the platform to track it and watch it for you so that you're, um, you're counting the delivery. And then we could absolutely marry attribution and, and web analytics against that. Those Amazing. Mentions. Great. Okay. So, um, you know, just a little bit more data here and I'll, I'll keep scrolling over here to the right. If we move over to creative analytics, this is essentially a, a snapshot of all of the different creative that I'm running for this particular advertiser. And so in this case, it looks like we, you know, it's Chevy. So we have a lot of different units here. This could be, you know, local Chevy dealer, uh, combined with maybe some national. Um, so certainly you can maybe uncheck some of these and just look at a particular campaign in this, in this view, I have everything selected, but you can see by each spot, what the delivery is per ad, you know, how many visits are we delivering per ad? And so just at a quick glance, it looks like this one here is delivering, um, in many cases, almost twice as much, uh, as some of the other spots. And so, you know, I, I would ask myself, well, why is that? Is that because we're running more frequency? Does it doesn't necessarily look look like it in this example? Um, but maybe this is a spot that has a stronger offer or call to action, or maybe the creative messaging is just really unique. You know, whatever kind of that nuance is, this allows me to, to then say, wow, this this particular ad unit is driving traffic. It's working. It's resonating with our audience. Consumers are are going to the client's website. They're taking action, and therefore. Maybe this presents an opportunity for me to sit down with my client and say, hey, let's, you know, this one's working 2x. Let's do more of this. Maybe we run more frequency, um, especially if you can command a higher dollar for it, uh, potentially could create an upsell opportunity. Um, but these are the types of metrics that you want to keep an eye on and, and certainly share the highlights with your client. Great. And then lastly, uh, if I click over here to reports, we do have the ability to uh, allow a you know, a seller to download all of this information so that they can um, share it with their clients. So they have the ability to customize this with their name and email address, phone number, uh, you know, their contact info. They could certainly put a client logo on here. And then they're, then they're able to essentially download this into either a PDF or a PowerPoint report. 
I love the PowerPoint because it gives you more flexibility to either delete slides or add slides. Um, you know, many, many times the seller is not going to go back and share every piece of data with the advertiser. They might just want to go back and show that comparative date range, or they just might want to say, hey, look, in a week, we've already delivered you 1,200 new users to your website, or uh, you have a tremendous um, you know, response rate. 10% uh, of your overall traffic is coming from us. Whatever that kind of unique selling point is, they might just want to share a couple highlights. Um, certainly, they can share all of the data, but in many cases, I just see them kind of sharing the highlights and using it to really manage the campaign as they go. Um, and then also, you can add slides. Maybe you want to add some digital data into here. Maybe you want to include uh, kind of a weekly recap of uh, you know, whatever you want to share with the client, but it's very flexible um, and easy to use. And this has been, you know, these reports, I, I would say, have presented like a valid business reason to then have another touch point with your customer. And I would absolutely recommend that sellers sit down with their customers um, in the beginning and say, hey, look, you know, I'm your marketing consultant and all of this and really set the expectation of what this is gonna look like. You know, we're a company that's invested in this type of transparency, these types of insights to show how your campaign is working effectively so that we can optimize it. And I plan on coming in here on a weekly or bi-weekly basis and sharing this data with you so that we can make sure that you're getting the biggest bang for right. your buck. You mentioned transparency, and that's part of the title session here is, is enhancing that transparency. I, so I can see how we're now uncovering a lot of uh, information data analytics. So whether you're performing, overperforming, or underperforming. So is transparency a good thing for, for, for our broadcasters and agencies out there to share with our customers. Absolutely. I mean, I, I remember the days I, I was a radio seller for many years and I remember the days where I would, you know, be hiding under my desk Monday, hoping that, uh, you know, it worked over the weekend that all the, all the promotion, everything that did, did over the weekend uh, worked. And so instead of kind of guessing uh, we have the ability to, you know, own that, um, and and really optimize it. And so I think that data is imperative. And, and not only does it, is it giving us that opportunity, but it's being demanded on the advertising side. And so, you know, we we actually own an ad agency, Veritone One. Our clients are certainly holding our feet to the fire when it t comes to these types of, you know, analytics and attribution. And that's why we've been able to attract um, these huge logo accounts uh, because of this technology and what we're able to bring them so that they can optimize their campaign. And, and even even companies that were typically only spending in digital are now spending in broadcast, both TV and radio, because it's now a measurable medium. Right. And the other part of our, you know, our title of this session also talks about growing the revenue. So obviously um, you've been dealing with a bunch of TV broadcasters. Uh, how have you seen them grow revenue with this product? Uh, certainly. So I would say on the local direct front, um, it's strengthen the buying confidence in the advertiser. So um, somebody who may may have never advertised in TV or has been advertising TV, but maybe hasn't been apt to like grow that, you know, their spend. This creates those opportunities when you can show an advertising advertiser that their investment is working um, and that if they, you know, theoretically invested more in what's working and, and maximize that, then they're going to just see the results twofold or, or whatever the number is. And so um, I, I think that not only does it create more opportunity there, but it attracts potentially net new clients, clients that haven't typically advertised in broadcast because they've been attracted to digital because it's a measurable medium. We know that TV broadcasting is effective, um, especially when it is combined with digital. And so now we've got the metrics to show for both. And I would say, you know, uh, lastly, for the, on the agency side, certainly allows you to compete in the game, attract those types of advertisers um, and, and make um, and really present, you know, these types of analytics so that you can gain their business over and over again. That's great. And we, we mentioned a little bit about Google Analytics. Um, so how... Uh, how does that work with Google Analytics? Uh, do you guys ask for permission to the broadcasters and so forth? How does that work? Yeah, so so essentially the broadcaster is the gatekeeper of this application and it's really your secret sauce to winning the business. Um, and what you wanna do is you wanna invite the advertiser to connect their Google Analytics so that you have that type of transparency and you can see in real time how their campaign is effectively working for them. It's a super easy process to invite the advertiser. Uh, essentially, you just come in here, you create new, you can click on new advertiser and create a new advertiser. In this case, I'll just do a test one. And you can add it to my folder. I can even upload a logo for my client. I click next. And this is now where I invite the advertiser to connect. So I'll just you know, invite myself.
and I can add a personal message. Uh, you know, hey Jim, this is what we talked about yesterday when we sat down. I'm gonna, you know, w once you connect, we'll have your analytics so that we can see the efficacy and manage that and, and optimize it, et cetera. And then once you do that, you can send that off to them. You click done. Now this fires off an email directly to the advertiser. And once they get that email, they can click a button to then auth in for Google Analytics. And it grants us read-only access. So with this three-step process, your advertiser can now connect and now they're in. And once they connect, then all of their data begins to populate. So here on the screen is essentially just a dashboard that shows um, you know, my connections and it allows me to manage those connections. So here's a, an example of everyone I have connected so that I can make sure that, hey, you know, I sent the invite to, you know, 1-800-GOT-JUNK and they've connected. Okay, we're well on our way versus uh, maybe some of the invitations that are still pending. Wow, you know, Memphis Honda, maybe I owe them a visit. Maybe there's a, some confusion. Um, let me pick up the phone or stop by there so I could sit with them and help them, you know, walk them through this process. And how long do I have access to this Google Analytics? Is it forever or do they? It's, yeah, so it's it's essentially until the advertiser disconnects you. Um, and the Google Analytics data will go back as far as two years. And so we really have some, you know, baseline data to to then show uh, against their advertising campaign. That's amazing. You know, I want to go back to your other answer that we talked about. You know, um, we have a lot of media agencies that are also watching us today, and obviously this product can apply for them as well, correct? Absolutely. I, I, look, it allows you to attract uh, customers who value metrics and uh, are attracted to these types of real-time insights, um, and certainly, um, those types of advertisers who have traditionally spent in digital, uh, allow, you know, now allows you to compete in that space and attract some of those dollars because you can offer not only an effective medium, but you can show measurable results in real time. That's great. Is there anything else you want to show us here in the demo, Jeanette? Um, I'll just say, you know, one of my favorite features is uh, we do have a, a great customer success team uh, that is live in the app. And so anytime a seller is in here, they can, you know, find help articles. They could actually start a new conversation with their support team. Hey, you know, how do I set up an advertiser? Or I, you know, how do I interpret this data point? Um, we really are hands-on and, and want you to be successful. But at the same time, we recognize that our seller are out there you know selling they're hitting the streets we certainly don't want them bogged down in a platform all day so we've just made this uh this application super easy it, very intuitive to use um so that they can just grab the data and use it to go close more business that's great well thank you Jeanette for showing that demo I think this is great uh, you know it's it's proven a lot of great things and uh and I think like you said it just gives you know tv the credit that it it hasn't been able to get and so I wanted to go to this next slide because I know we haven't had a chance to talk about your company, Veritone. Um, we wanted to get straight to the heart of the matter, but tell me a little bit about Veritone and, and you mentioned a little bit about AI, but love to learn more about who you guys are. Sure, so so we've been around for about, I think five years now, which is unbelievable. I've been here for four and it's been a, a, it's been a long, crazy ride, uh, especially as an AI company and just how fast uh, AI has has come and uh, what the offerings and capabilities are today. Uh, we have global offices. Um, we're headquartered here in Southern California, um, but you know have offices ranging from New York to London. And what we've really done is develop the world's first operating system for AI. And we have tremendous array of customers who are using AI for a variety of reasons. Um, but essentially, they are taking both structured and unstructured data, like video and audio, um, could be even documents, and they are processing that through AI to extract actionable insights, whether that is facial recognition to catch cr criminals, it could be logo recognition to uh, understand you know, when sponsor logos appear, um, and, and the delivery for that uh, is certainly could be um, you know, using AI in, in the attribution application to, to transcribe and show data around uh, live mentions. Um, but, you know, not only are we in the media and entertainment space, but we're also in legal and compliance and then also sled and fed. Great. I see some great logos you guys represent there in terms of clients. And so in terms of media and entertainment, I know you guys play a big part of that. You mentioned that. Tell me a little bit in terms of the focus and who you who your targets and what you guys do there. So certainly. So we, you know, we really have a business use case and 
or an application for everybody in the space. Um, certainly on the broadcaster side, whether it is uh, applications to track and verify your, you know, your advertising campaign or to manage your content strategy or attribution, uh, you know, we're doing that for uh, the majority of broadcasters today, but we also work with all the major studios here in Hollywood, um, you know, with our archive, uh, certainly the networks, um, sports organizations for a variety of different reasons, but we're really in the space of managing uh, the content life cycle, everything from the creation side to managing that content, delivering and distributing that content, ultimately monetizing that content, and then certainly analyzing um, you know, all of the assets. Well, that's great. So you guys basically are in every part of that content life cycle from create all the way to analyze. That's amazing. And finally, I know, you know, we talked about AI and it's such a big breadth of, you know, um, terminology, but it also addresses a lot of marketplaces. And it looks like Veritone does play in all sorts of, you know, industries. And it looks like there's other ones that AI wear can touch upon. But tell me a little bit about do you, you, there's these other, looks like other products up there uh, next to underneath attribute. Sure. So our operating system is, is called AIware. And as part of AIware, we have these native applications that are very business centric. Mm -hmm. And so um, if you're media and entertainment, uh, we have the attribute you know, attribute a application. Uh, we have a core um, and digital media hub application that allows you to really manage your media uh, and manage it in the cloud, uh, distribute it, monetize it, et cetera. Uh, we have uh, Veritone Essentials, which which allows you to uh, show analytics and and also manage and track everything that you're doing on air uh, across a broadcast. And so, very business centric uh, use cases and applications that were built to, um, you know, for those specific uh, use cases. Well, that's great. Thank you for that overview on Veritone. I really appreciate that. I, you know, next we're going to take questions from the audience. Uh, feel free to go to your chat box and uh, type in some questions. I see a couple of questions already in the chat box here, so we'll just throw them, throw them at Jeanette and hopefully she can answer them properly. Hopefully. <laughs> so, so Jeanette, one question somebody asked is, what is the onboarding process like once I sign up with you guys? A great question. So we can actually move as fast as you can. Um, and we've had stations come on board in you know, uh, just a couple days. But essentially, we want to connect to your station playout data. Uh, we we set up a workflow that that programmatically ingests that data. Um, we want to QA it, make sure that the data is good. We spend maybe a day or two doing that, and then we are off and running. Uh, we, we train your staff, make it super easy for them to to grasp. Uh, we can hold some one-on-one -on -one trainings if they have some follow-up. We also have the live kind of in-app uh, services and help features um, for sellers to just be off and running and using this. But it's been a pretty um, you know, pretty, pretty transactional. I mean, it's something that we can get you up and running. It's, you know, it's a low monthly uh, fee. Uh, we've made it cost efficient for, for stations just to come on board and we provide limitless uh, attribution campaigns. And so you can get in here and pull as many as you want with no extra charge. So you just mentioned a low monthly fee. What are we talking about in terms of is it a seat per license? Is it how does that typically work? Yeah, so it's it's typically a, you know a low monthly licensing fee. We include a typical number of user seats. Uh, we can always add more if we need more, but essentially we want you to be successful. We want this in the hands of your sellers, and 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 we do have some partners who um, who tend to have you know a couple or a few champions of this application at the station. Those could be kind of sales admins or sales coordinators um, who run these reports, really drill in down into the data and then just equip the sales staff to use the output to go you know, do more business. Great, thanks. Another question we have uh, someone's asking is, what happens if I go beyond the eight minute window? Um, what, what 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 potential problems I could have if I go, or can I go beyond the eight minute window too? Certainly, so it's a setting. So we don't just allow anybody to kind of get in there and manipulate it. And and like I recommended before, we would recommend that your sales leadership really takes ownership of that admin functionality to configure that for the right client. Um, I mean, obviously, if you open up that window, you're looking at a larger, you know, uh, funnel for the traffic to come in. And, and then it has to make sense for the right client. You know, certainly we don't want to just go inflating any numbers. But like I mentioned before, if, if you have a client that is uh, maybe you have 100 percent of their buy, um, maybe there's uh, some other um, nuance to the campaign where it, it makes sense to, to open up that attribution window. You can certainly do that. And, and but it's, it's definitely a conversation that you want to have and, and you want to be the gatekeeper of that. 
great. Uh, in another question, it looks like this might be the last one, is um, what, how, how do you compare yourself to your competitor? Oh, good question. Uh, well, you know, we're truly the best, in my opinion. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> look, no, I, I think that um, obviously there's a couple attribution platforms out there, and I think they're they're fine products. Uh, they do attribution well. Um, I think that where we really um, differ is that, you know, we're really the first and only attribution platform that can show attribution for anything outside of spots, you know, everything live. And so, um, and we do that in near real time. I think the near real time part is key. Uh, there's no delay in turnaround. Your sellers aren't going to have to request a report that takes, you know, four days to get back. They can do this themselves. They can do it on the fly. And then they can you take that data to go close more business. I mean, we are in the business of making you successful. And so, you know, we're revenue focused company. We absolutely understand that our TV broadcasters are focused on revenue. So we just want to create tools and, um, you know, so that you can go go do that and maximize that opportunity. Well, that's great. Thank you, Jeanette. And so if, if anybody is interested in learning more about Veritone Attribute, you can go to www.veritone.com to learn, learn some more information. Uh, Jeanette, I want to thank you for having us, you know, for being here today. Thank you, Daniel, and, and thank you, Media Post. Hey, thank you. And uh, and again, on behalf of, you know, Jeanette and myself, I'm Daniel Wong. I'm going to hand things back to Jeff. Jeff, back to you. Thank you so much, Jeanette and Daniel. Um, that was really a great, clear explanation of what's a difficult topic, TV attribution, and understanding how it's really driven by AI underneath with Veritone. So I learned a lot. I hope everyone else out there learned a lot. Thank you all for being here and being part of it. Uh, we'll get you some more information as well as the information on the recording of this webinar. Uh, in the future. So thanks again, everyone. And thanks again, Jeanette and Daniel.